ketone. So, what's the latest from your perspective on this crazy world that we're in? <laughs> well, I, I think one thing I've, cha I've seen changing uh, qu quite a bit is that the mentality towards venture capital yeah. uh, from a little bit of partner perspective. Because uh, um, two years ago, uh, you're talking to LPs and you're saying, hey, I'm a VC, and people kind of turn turn their back on you because a VC is such an unpopular word. Right. Um, they the would always say VCP, but now they can say VC, right? <laughs> yeah, and, you know, um, but today is, uh, VC is a lot more popular right. Right. because uh, the recent, uh, there's a recent window of, yes. uh, of exits and, and uh, lots of uh, internet, high growth technology deals uh, came out and, and some of them are done uh, 2004, 2005, right. and you, you look at 25 times, and, and that's where, where the deal was done. And, and um, the, the, the quite, quite popular sort of growth capital yes. uh, had hit the roadblock in the last two years because uh, uh, the, the pressure from R&B fund. Right. Um, so you could see that, that coming back a little bit, and, and, and I'm, I'm actually glad to see that. Because that that will say you know lay the seeds for for more promising uh, companies mm -hmm. and yeah. yeah and in terms of sectors which uh, where are you most focused on at the moment well um, again we we're, we're quite focused on uh, we, we start um, in two thousand and eight which yeah. is quite quite yes quite challenging, <laughs> challenging. Uh, which month was it I forget the... uh, we we started in April okay well, sorry. so so it wasn't <laughs> too bad but um, it's baptism by fire is it? yeah yeah. Um, but when we started, we our goal is to um, to develop a model that um, that we're, we're looking at a high success rate and reasonably lower risk, yes. which is challenging. <laughs> um, you can bas basically uh, it's a different model from U.S. So you look at the U.S. venture model; um, it's it's a it's a hit driven. It's it's like you have to be in one of those deals. Yes. So, so the key word is that you can't miss in one of those deals. Right. But in China, it's like you can't afford to do a lot of failure right. deals. So it's different, different mentality. Why, why is that? Is that cultural? Is it? Uh, no, it, is that um, it's, it's, more to do with economics? What happened in the U.S. venture industry in the last ten years? Uh, you just have to be in one of those deals. You have to be in Google. You have to be in. Nowadays, Facebook or Twitter or To have or some Groupon. street cred on Sand Hill Road, you have to, yeah. Otherwise, you're nobody, right? right? Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. So if you're in one of those deals, mm -hmm. that saves you for five funds. Right. Yeah. Uh, but if you're not, then you're nobody. But in China, it's like, uh, first, you can't chase all, all the right. new ideas. And, and, and um, doing VC is not about, it's probably not about uh, back the new idea, with a new concept, with right. nothing else. Uh, you really have to see something. Uh, so, so people is important, but not the only important right. thing. You have to see the model. It has to, uh, you have to see it works, uh, at least demonstrated works, uh, mm -hmm. before you reach your pocket and write a check. Mm -hmm. right? um, and otherwise, your failure rate is too high. But you know, I. I I mean, the business long enough. Uh, you know, you're talking about ten years. That's yeah. that's that's long enough in China. Yes. Most people started in 2005. Yes. I was lucky enough to start in 99. Um, I gone through many yes. cycles. <laughs> I mean, even from 2005 to now, you feel like three generations. Mm -hmm. It's not the same. And you kept your hair. You know, I, I'm afraid of. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you you kind of learn. Um, the, the, yeah. Yeah. The, the model is different. And so and you, can, you can be. In the last few years, a lot of people are focused on pre-IPO, right. you know, um, quick exit, and, and, and so on. And, and, and all of a sudden, you you see the. Um, so when when the the world economy went down, but uh, it's just a booming about China stock market, China consumer, China market. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so you you know you you. Have, uh, you hit roadblock with with R and B fund. Right. Um, so you, what we have learned is that uh, you have to develop a strategy that find your niche. So so to us is 
Not too early, but definitely not too late because once you're late, the, value the price is, is too high and, and you're competing with no advantage. Mm -hmm. um, but it's tricky to do that because you really need to know what you're doing because you don't, not only looking at, in early stage you look at people, that's it. That's the only thing you can look at. In very late stage you look at numbers. <laughs> but this is somewhere in the between. Right. Uh, and, and you can't afford to lose many of those deals and you can't afford to, uh, to just look at people. So you gotta look at, at build expertise, you got, uh, do things in the area that you understand. So and we, we build a number of sort of areas. In terms of the, we, the people for the earlier stage, I mean, we talked earlier about the differences in entrepreneurs and the maturation. Are you, are you seeing that also? In the, uh, I mean, some of these people you've, you've known for, 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 for some time, I would imagine. So. Yeah, yeah, certainly. I mean, you compare with 99. Right, when I mean, you know anybody, right? I mean, yeah, so. it's like you don't have anybody has gone through that. But <laughs> right. today, increasingly, you see people have uh, done their work, you know, mm -hmm. last cycle, have. Uh, be part of a winning team and exit it and, and now want to be either angel investor or or continue to be CFO for you know a number of companies. Mm -hmm. So you do see that uh, a group of people become. And you're just you're just tech, right? I mean, you, you haven't felt the need to. Right, right. We diversify. we haven't done any beverage companies or <laughs> or, right. or rice or corn right. or anything <laughs> like that because we just don't right. think we understand yeah. that. Okay. Uh, or we haven't done a restaurant and, and, and so on. But although I'm not saying that they, they can make money, they can right. make a decent, really yes. decent amount of returns. Yes. Uh, but it's just not our cup of tea. So technology waves that you see for the future that might be driving the growth, what, what uh, I mean, we've talked about mobile, we've talked about some of the other I, I think about. mobile internet definitely is. I, I think if you look at what the hot, what's the yeah. hottest area today is e-commerce. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, Groupon is part of it, Yes. Right? Type, type of thing. But the winner may not be, I mean, it, it's going to take a while to, uh, or a lot of money to see winners coming out of it, but the real winner of all of this, this whole process is probably something else. It's probably right. advertisement, which, you know, investment was done at least, you know, so today people with bigger winner is Xena, mm. Focus Media mm -hmm. type of thing, and, they, you know, uh, Baidu. Yes. They just, yeah. they just, you know, um, they, they just sit in there collecting money. Uh, and the other thing I think is very important mm -hmm. uh, is it, the infrastructure. So okay. the payment, mm -hmm. the logistics, uh, anything along that line. And, and, and I, I, also you could look at, um, you know, for instance, the payment industry. I've been looking at that industry things. In 2004, I made an investment of its, its um, Union Pay Merchant, mm -hmm. which is which dominate uh, of the POS network. Yes, um, I've been looking at that from that point, uh, but yesterday, finally the licenses. Finally, came. <laughs> the, I, was like, I was like waiting for three G. I did that for ten years. So, yeah, yeah cent Central Bank only you know <laughs> started to hand out hand out the license yep. or twenty seven licenses. That's right, um, but you know from from that point to really develop a mature business. Uh, it's going to take uh, so some time. effort, yeah. uh, but uh, you, you got to be in one of those things. Um, so when market takes off, you will, you will be the winner. Right. So um, in terms of the uh, the LP attitude towards China, then I mean, it's you know, you don't have to do so much convincing, right? I mean, it's just more about the. <laughs> yeah, I mean, although they they're typically uh, about. Uh, the view is about two years behind, typically, because yeah. information because, lag and because yeah. because it's all exit driven. Right? Yeah. So right. today, yeah. if if someone give you the scorecard, mm -hmm. uh, it, it's it's actually today it's uh, it's easy. Mm -hmm. Actually, you have a better scorecard. But two years ago, it was gross capital. Right. Um, so you can see there, uh, and and also I think uh, traditionally. Um, you know, U.S. is uh, is, is quite um, uh, supportive to the venture industry. Yes. Europe is quite lagging behind yes. because the the venture industry in Europe never took Good. off. Yeah. Uh, so so you know you, you could see you could see that and, and and the biggest topic was before this was R and B fund, but it doesn't matter anymore because right. uh, today you see a lot of the window just opened a bit and, and lots lots of exit. Mm -hmm. Uh, in the VC area, so, mm -hmm. so 
R&B fund become less important. Do you think in terms of looking five years out, do you think there'll be a lot more listings in, in Hong Kong versus uh, NYC and NASDAQ uh, or, or even are you looking more even uh, more onshore? It's a bit unclear because, mm. um, you know, if you have a high growth, high entry barrier, high scalability, uh, m you know, maybe not yet very high profit, mm. you go with the U.S., right? And, and, and Hong Kong is a bit different. China is very different. Very different yeah. um, so, you know, I, I think for, for the things that we do, uh, at least today, I still see many of our companies are going to go to the U.S. Right. For IPO, and, and I think one thing we should expect, I hope it will happen sometime, is that M and A opportunity right. is still quite quite behind. That's right. Yeah. So you you think that will, that will change it, culturally? Uh, there'll be more openness to. <clears throat> well, I, I think number one, we don't have enough uh, right. public company that that so look for company that, that yeah that's true acquire mm -hmm. um, and 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 do uh, the second I, I I do think the culturally. Uh, there, there are challenges on both sides. Uh, sure. The company who is about to acquire uh, the startups or startup is taking uh, to be acquired. So both both sides, because the mentality has been the larger company turn to do everything themselves That's right. or tr tend to not not really play a fair game mm -hmm. when, 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 when we're talking about Once they're about established. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, and, this, and from an entrepreneur point of view, Everybody want their own boss and for forever, but so so there's a culture issue from both. Nation of 1.3 billion entrepreneurs, so it's a, that's a lot of that's a lot of IPOs. Right. <laughs> right. Um, so other um, comments on uh, before we uh, wrap up, any uh, thoughts as you uh, are you raising another fund or you've uh, uh, we're you're still investing? Uh, your we're, we're we're in the second fund. Second fund, right? Yes. Yeah, um, so. so our first fund was 200 million. Right. The second fund is uh, 200 to 250. Uh -huh. so we're we're already, I don't Fine, know, 90, yeah, ninety percent down. <laughs> uh, so we're we're not focused on investing. On oh, the investment side, yeah, okay. Uh, so mobile internet, clean tech, uh, <clears throat> e-commerce infrastructure, mm -hmm. uh, interesting advertisement, technology and services. Uh, Do you like the idea of this one in the taxi where it follows? Yeah, that's eyes. one of the things. <laughs> yeah, I, we're, we've been very big on behavior-based advertisement. Okay. Because that's we think that's a next generation mm -hmm. um, technology and services, and we're very big on that. And, uh, being yeah, I've been looking at this since uh, 2005. Okay. Uh, at least 10 companies have gone through very serious look and picked two. Okay. So. Yeah. One well, last point you had mentioned earlier, you know, the uh, Weibo and seen. I mean. Weibo is spending a lot of money on marketing now, and do you see, uh, you know, a better business model for, for Weibo than, say, Twitter? In the sense, I mean, uh, do you think there's some innovation that happening in, in Weibo which would set it on a higher plane than than, than Twitter in terms of ability to monetize? Because there's still, you know, questions in the. Yeah, I mean, it appears that um, you know, Weibo is actually quite popular compared with probably U.S. is yep. much more popular. Uh, exactly. I think the key is who drives the behavior. So it's right? back to your point on the right. behavior side. Yeah. Um, and, and, or what's your first page Right. when you go to the internet. Right? Mm -hmm. so I, I think uh, there, there are many more opportunities within Weibo uh, that, that could generate very interesting models. Um, you know, for instance, uh, uh, we have invested in a company a long time ago uh, doing very behavior target search, mm -hmm. um, and and they could track you and and putting put a tag on you, put a label on you. Uh, the label could go to three hundred thousand. Basically, very detailed uh, behavior and, and and figure out what your interests are. Uh, there's, you know, they just found their way in Weibo because they, you could actually generate use robot generate a a um, an interest and and it's very much like a customized um, newsletter or, or interest reading, uh, and it's a very target. So it, it could um, and so any lead generated from that is of a high value mm -hmm. because it's highly targeted and can and consumers behavior. 
Can consumers look at their own labels? No. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm like, sorry? Can consumers see what their, their own label is? I'd like to know my own label. If I... <laughs> oh, so you're saying it's the advertiser. So, right. Right. <laughs> Interesting. So the metrics, the technology behind uh, behavioral uh, advertising is really where you see a lot of the, the opportunity. Right. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. And as you said, with Groupon, you know, it may not be that Groupon is the, is, is the winner or the Groupon clones. It's going to be the, uh, the guys doing the advertising. And the, yeah. Right. I mean, Groupon <laughs> in general is uh, e-commerce, right? Yeah. Think about it. Yeah. So, so it depends on how you. But maybe there'll be some winner. Yes. There'll be maybe three to five. Right. But definitely not all. Not all of them. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, but uh, um, I think there'll be probably thirty company get funded in mm. a major way. Right. Uh, it's going to be maybe interesting. Only three to five winners. Yeah. That's a that's a pretty tough ratio. <laughs> so that's what it's about. So. But it's, uh, <clears> the only. You know, Cena and, yeah. and Focus Mina are laughing their way through all this. Yeah, they don't right. care. They benefit right. all through. Yeah, and, and Baidu. Baidu. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> so I'm I'm looking forward to see someone really beat Baidu uh, to generate some new stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. Because yeah. Uh, if they become too dominant, that's not that's not because they're they're just being very lucky. Is it the cash is rolling in? So no, yeah. it's like their competitor just go fall yeah. off the cliff. Right. Why would you bother? They're, they're yeah. become the dominant one. Right. Um, no, first Yahoo falls. Yep. And, yeah. Then Google. And then Google. Yeah. And they, they're just being in, sitting there enjoying. Right. Uh, so I, I hope there's some really good technology company will. Um, yes. Well, should be only the paranoid survive, not only the complacent or. But I'm not sure they're complacent, but uh, yeah. Well, great. Well, thank you very much for your for your time, and uh, one more, and then we're going to hit the TGIF. So thanks right. a lot. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. <coughs>